This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. What it do for like crew? So if you guys do not know a couple of fun facts about me, my top two favorite rappers of all time is Chameleonaire and Fabulous. And with that being said, Chameleonaire is going to be the hot topic of this specific reaction video and it's already getting me heated off to the point Mary, because it has Michael Jordan and this is actually going to be a full story that somebody linked me from Instagram he was like he already knew what was up with me and how I like Millionaire. Now, Millionaire if you guys don't know I have all his CDs man he is one of the very few rappers that speak nothing but the fucking truth especially the album get your mind correct like people that listen to that and you dedicate your time you're gonna see how wealthy you would get I'm trying to tell you guys man like listen bro Chameleonaire is that dude all respect okay so he He's rarely that type of artist because I follow him a lot, you know what I'm saying? To really just, you know, go down to interviews, he's not really an interview type of person, you know what I'm saying? He's just not, he just doesn't like to talk, okay? But here, this is something that was actually from a stream he was doing six years ago from when I'm talking about. Let me go ahead and click on a date for you guys. It's October 20th of 2009, all right? I cannot believe I have not seen this shit. Um, the guy's channel's name is called Khalil, but on doubt is, you know, he is, this is not his. This is Chameleonaire's Ustream, okay? So this is actually from Chameleonaire's Ustream. I do not know his entire thing, but we're going to actually check this shit out. I know a lot of y'all be asking me about this Michael Jordan story, right? Everybody like sees me always talking crazy about Michael Jordan. Let me explain to you. I saw Michael Jordan. I met Michael Jordan at this Michael Jordan party. It was at his party. And I never, never, I know it's some rumors that I asked him for an autograph and he said no or like, that's a lot. I saw Michael Jordan. I'm at a party and I don't ask nobody for nothing. I never do. I, I don't like when people overly do it to me. I had saw Michael Jordan taking pictures with girls. He was like, you know, and I ain't mad at it. He's taking pictures with people, you know what I'm saying? And he's taking pictures and he's just, and every now and then taking pictures, you know what I'm saying? So then later on, you know what I'm saying? I seen him and it was like, oh, they go Mike. And he was standing over there. He was with uh, 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 um, some of the Boston Celtics. He was with Spike Lee. He was with, uh, I don't know, some other people. And um, I was just like, man, this is just that one moment where I'm going to say, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go say, I'm going to ask Mike for a picture. And then I said, um, I went over there and I said, hey, fellas, you know, nobody was talking. They was just chilling, whatever, right? And I was just like, um, Man, I don't mean to be rude, but Mike, I just want to know if it's, if I could get a uh, a picture. What's wrong and with that? Now, I understand. I kind of expected him to say no. So I'm, I wasn't mad if he said no, but the way I he said it. I got rejected on celebrities saying no said, shit. Oh, hell nah, man. I ain't taking no pictures with no niggas. Get he out. said it like that, and I was like, I kind of got st stunned for a second because I was like, wait a second. I don't think he heard. I turned back, and my boys were just looking at me like, damn. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of thought that he didn't hear what I said, and I was like, Keep in mind, I had just came from a Reggie Bush event. Everybody knows about the Michael Jordan jersey, right? Me and uh, Reggie Bush was doing this event, right? And he was auctioning off these jerseys. So I had to keep on raising my hand and bidding for these jerseys, right? And it was like, it was a Michael Jordan jersey, an Allen Iverson autograph, the Shaq, uh, man, a Vince Carter. There was a whole bunch of jerseys, right? And I kept raising my hand. It was like 1,000. I raised my hand. They said 2,000, and some dude raised his hand. And they said 3,000. I raised my hand. They said 4,000. We kept going back and forth. And then I finally went over to him at 7,000. It was like, hey, man, stop raising your hand, man. You don't want them jerseys. And he was like, I said, man, how about we stop and then we both split the jerseys at 7,000 and we split the money. And he was like, all right, cool. So we didn't write, we didn't, we didn't raise our hands no more. And then they said, sold to Chameleon there and that guy right there for $7,000. <laughs> so the guy tells me that he wasn't even tripping. He didn't even want to get the jerseys. He was just trying to show off to Kim Kardashian, who was on the stage. Oh, what a lame. I was like, man, this dude that made me pay $7,000 for yeah, these jerseys, and he didn't even want the jerseys. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, dude, whatever, right? I'm telling shit, Michael too. the story. I'm like, I just bid $7,000 for a Michael Jordan jersey. You know what I'm saying? Like, And then he goes, you know what? I'll tell you what. You, you pay $15,000 right now for a jersey from me, and I'll take a picture with you. And keep in mind, Michael Jordan's real tall. He's looking down yeah, on like me. Six, six. And I'm looking up at him like, like five something, five man, I never been so heated in my life, man. My heart just started racing like I'm about to steal off on his <laughs> foot. <laughs> and I, I thought about all the times when I used to pause the little video game or the uh, basketball game and, and draw the picture of this dude dunking. I thought about all the times when I seen John Starks come baseline and just dunk on them fools. I seen. I thought about the time when Allen Iverson crossed them over and I was like, what? Jordan, how you let... Allen Iverson crossed you over like big Michael Jordan fan. Does Iverson and, that and it's just the, the way fuck? he did it? And then best player uh, of all time. Uh, who was it? Paul Pierce. So one of them was like, "Yo, hey man, chill out. That's that's chameleonaire, man. 
He was like, I don't give up. And he cursed. He said, I don't give up. Wow, nigga. MJ. And I was like, and then you know what I did? I just sat there for a second. I just sat there and looked at him. And then I turned to Spike Lee and I said, you know what? I appreciate it, bro. That's all good. And I shook Spike Lee's hand. And they all had that look like, man, you know, that's just how Mike is. You know what I'm saying? I shook everybody's hand. And then I walked off. And then Ray Allen was over there. And Ray Allen was like, hey, man, he took a picture with me. I guess they was kind of do it because they kind of felt kind of like a certain way or something. You know, I took a picture with Paul Pierce and everything. But I didn't even, it wasn't really even that big a deal. I expected him to say no. It's just the way he said it. It was, man, it was the most rudest. I, I, I'm probably not even repeating it as mean as he Damn. said. It. So after that, I was like, wow, man, this dude must really be. He must feel a certain way inside where he just treat people like that. And keep in mind, when I used to stay in Chicago, a lot of y'all know about I used to stay in Chicago. <clears throat> the people that I used to stay with, they used to tell me all the time that Michael Jordan is bad, man. He just be smoking weed, cursing all day. I didn't believe it. I was like, no way. No way, not Michael. You know what I'm saying? Because the image that he portrayed. That's what they, they want you to like, believe. Um, they, you got to keep it real all the time. They used to clean his cars. They used to work for the company to clean his cars. And he always used to be cursing at them. He always used to be talking trash to them. He always used to be saying stuff. And they told me, and I was like, nah. So then when I finally saw him, he was like that to me. So I was wow, like, wow. Man. And then I had heard so many rumors about people saying how Michael Jordan, how bad he was. So I was kind of disappointed. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know there's some people that's gonna go out there and say, oh, Cam was a groupie for Michael Jordan, man. You can say whatever you want, man. Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan, them the biggest icons that I ever had. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no rapper. It wasn't, it was, that, that, those was it. Because remember, I wasn't really allowed to listen to rap like that when I was younger. You know what I'm saying? It was, my dad used to watch basketball all day. Michael Jordan, Hakeem Olajuwon, I could tell you anything. All right, guys. So we're going to cut it off right here. The original video is actually seven minutes of full one, okay? Now, um, this is a clear point and example on what he said at the end millionaire that is, okay? You know, a lot of people always want to portray an image, bro. And then, like, when they hear certain shit about other people, bro, like, it just really just, you know, it starts to question you, man. Like, you know, looking back, I just had some fucking J's. I just feel like throwing them shits out. You know, I don't take sides. But damn, bro, that's kind of fucked up, bro. Like, I'm pretty sure that shit, because I'm looking at the up next, too. He's even being interviewed by something on a, a radio talk show. So this shit is definitely legit, without a doubt. Then, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, man. What do you guys have to say about some shit like this, bro? Like, have you ever ran into anybody, like, whether if it's a basketball player, your favorite football player, celebrity, whatever, like, did they act different on how you thought they would have most likely acted if you if you would have met them, you know, in person? You know, personally to me, man, it's, it's, it's really not that big of a deal, man, because this guy actually didn't even go into playing the NBA. But it was like this one D1 guy. He came down to, like, summer my summer camp and when, back when I was um in eighth grade in that summer camp okay and i forget his actual his full fucking name i wish i can tell you guys but pretty much he was just a three-point shooter he was balling he was averaging like 17 18 points per game all right but like i was asking him you know play this is when i was smaller too by the way and i, I was good at that i was always naturally born good at basketball always attack the paint like to shoot the three but i was just shorter so you know people will always underestimate you i remember like oh I'm, i want to see how it feels like to play a college athlete like I, i'm thinking like you know they're up there with the nba because i'm always assuming like most of the college athletes always go off to the NBA, which I always, what I found out later, excuse me, isn't true. Okay, so I'm asking, let me hop into this four on four. He was just like, nah, you got to sit down on this one. All right, so I patiently wait like two, three games, man. We actually ended up having to leave that gym that day, didn't even get the play. And he let everybody else that was in the gym, it was about like 24, 26 people at tops. All right, all niggas, bro. They all got to play, but me sat back and watched. Hey, he didn't even go into the NBA, so I don't know if that's motherfucking karma or what, but I want you guys to have a full discussion down below. And it's crazy, man. You know, going back to the portraying the image part, bro. Like, you know, just going back and thinking, like, you know, being at some different events, whether if it's gaming, YouTube, different things, man. Like, a lot of people may be shocked at this, but I'm not going to, of course, say no motherfucking names or none of that shit, bro. Like, that's why I'm always keeping it real. Like, you know, some of you guys know I, I like the smoke tree and all that shit bro like i'm not afraid to hide it like in the beginning i'm not even gonna lie to you when i first started youtube i didn't really want people finding out but eventually you know it's gonna get to a point people find out it's looking motherfucking obvious so you know i have to stand up be a man and, you know be held accountable but motherfuck i've done been with your motherfucking favorite commentators bro and them niggas motherfucking they smoke more than me bitch and they cursing and shit i'm just like what you 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 act like this a certain way nigga like bro i'm trying to tell you guys man that's why it's always important to keep it real bro because like if you have to hear from somebody else like what community was saying how Michael Jordan was always cussing and treating people at a car wash like why are you treating people at a car wash like you got to give everybody respect I don't give a fuck if you a janitor or a motherfucking third degree lawyer my nigga you getting treated the Believe same way I